All right, so here we are at the payoff. We're gonna glue this brace in. Uh, the tops and braces of my guitars are quite light. And at this stage of the game, I don't feel great about using a water-based adhesive uh, for assembly. So I'm gonna use this um, West System epoxy resin. It doesn't have any effect on the size of the wood. It won't elongate or stretch open the parts um, that I'm bonding. And um, it's pretty easy to deal with and it makes a beautiful bond. And the added benefit is that I don't have to, I don't have to rush. I have plenty of time to do this. Let me show you something that I like a lot. So this is a five cent acid brush that, uh, you know, you buy in a big box. But for applying glue, I like to shut, shut it off at about a quarter inch. All right. And then for this job, I want to put an additional cut here. So I cut back quite a number of bristles here and I've created a new, a new kind of tool. So this, this is a brush that has a built-in fence. So, like so. So that's pretty cool. Helps keep, helps keep you out of trouble, keep you in control of the material. Well, with any glue up really, but especially with epoxy, you do not want to make a mess. So I will now get some glue on here. And the um, acronym WEST system means wood epoxy saturation technique. And I think I talked about this in a, another episode, but it doesn't, it's easy to make too much of how much epoxy soaks in. It doesn't really soak in that much, but it does soak in. It does, it does migrate into the material and that's good uh, for us because um, it's not and it it's not a glue. It's a resin with really uh, fantastic adhesive properties, and so there has to be a little bit of resin in the joint in order for it to work. See how nicely this thing works here to even out that epoxy. Okay, so now we're going to stick it in <clears throat> and use the brace to print epoxy on the top. Okay. So now we see that we've got a line of epoxy, almost complete line. Um, and we'll go ahead and put some more epoxy in here. So normally, when you're working with epoxy, you would um, wear gloves. I'm not wearing gloves because I'm going to handle this in such a way that I'm not going to get epoxy on me. And. Um, Always better if you can work clean, of course. Try this again. Now 
and now we see we've got epoxy everywhere. Um, I'm going to wipe off the edge of the brace. at the top <clears throat> make sure I like it if there are any spots that look dry it's important to wet wet them um, as I mentioned there needs to be some material in the joint in order for this to bond it's not like hide glue where you can try and squeeze every little bit out and you still have enough left. The epoxy wants to have <coughs> just a little bit in there in order to develop adhesion. So the epoxy tends to go in where there's more slope. So in other words, you won't get a lot of penetration here, but as the slope changes, um, more uh, of the tubes in the wood are going to be open to receiving the epoxy resin. So you have to just be careful that the ends down here where there's more slope don't get um, starved for resin. Um, and so this is, you know, one of those things that that maybe is a little controversial. Some people feel that you should always use some kind of filler or solid in the epoxy to bond um, that's recommended by the manufacturer as a matter of fact but I have found that if you're careful and persistent the way we are being now and make sure that everything is uh, wet with resin when it's clamped together that should work out pretty well So I think I have enough resin in there and it's well distributed. Everything's wet. This is a little acetone.
Okay. So now I'll put a couple clamps on it. I like these lightweight old school cam clamps. Basically you just <clears throat> need enough pressure to hold them in place really. Um, the brace itself, as we've seen, hardly needs any pressure to be meaningfully clamped where it belongs. And I'll go back over here and wipe again with the acetone. The thing of beauty, a little brace, just what we'll need to help out this beautiful top. So the next job on this guitar is to carve and finish off this brace, tune it for flexibility. I'll show you how, to, how I do in the next segment. And then we'll cut a little opening in the crossing brace and glue that in and tune that one. And um, that will nearly complete our top. Thanks for watching.